Hi, I'm Andy from Autodesk Navisworks. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up and save multiple viewpoints of your project. Viewpoints are snapshots of the model as it is displayed in the scene view, which means you can jump to preset viewpoints without having to navigate there each time. Viewpoints contain the view of the model, including camera positions, lighting mode, and various other settings. The first thing I need to do is open up the viewpoint default settings in the options editor. I want my viewpoints to remember when I hide objects or change material colours, so I need to enable this functionality. There, now that's done, I can open up my project and get started. I'm going to start by opening and pinning open the Save Viewpoints window and creating my current viewpoint there. Look how my first viewpoint is created automatically. I just type in a name and press enter and there we have a new viewpoint. Next I'll create a viewpoint that shows just the architecture of my model. I'll just open the selection tree and hide the structure and MEP sections. This is where changing the defaults that I did at the start of the video comes in useful. And look how I can also right click in the scene view to save a viewpoint. I can even add a comment to a viewpoint. Just right click on the viewpoint, click add comment, and there you go. And notice how the status is automatically set to new. Press enter and the comment is now saved as part of the viewpoint. OK, now I'm going to use the navigation tools to zoom in on a door that I've been requested to check the size of. Next, I'll use the review panel to measure the door and convert the measurement to a red line. Now, when I click the convert to red line button, look how a viewpoint is automatically created. I'll just quickly rename it to something relevant. There we go. And finally, I'll use the add tag option to make sure that it's flagged up. Now just click back on the fly tool again, then right click on the viewpoint and click update. You'll see why in a minute. OK, now let's have a look back at the first viewpoint we created. Why is it blue? Well if I open the selection tree, I can see that I've still got the structure and MEP files selected. So I just click elsewhere in the selection tree to deselect them, and there, that's our starting point, the overview viewpoint. Now when I click the other viewpoints, you can see how saved viewpoints let you easily switch between views. And check this out, the navigation mode has been saved into the viewpoint, so that I can start navigating in my preferred method straight away. You can also quickly switch between saved viewpoints on the ribbon. All I need to do now is save the project and my saved viewpoints will be stored for next time I open the project. So now that you know how to set up and save viewpoints, why not go and set up your own viewpoints to save you time when navigating your project? Thanks for watching.